Hello guys, I'm Farham and today I'll be talking to you about my fourth Erasmus project, Unlock Skills. The first thing you're probably wondering is why am I talking in English? It's because this video is part of my after project activities, that's how I'm going to call them. And I have decided to do a video about the project and to share my experience, talk about like what we have done, what the project is about. And uh, that is why we just I decided to talk uh, in English in this video so it can reach more people. And this is the, of course, the sole reason why it's in English. I'll probably make a video in Bulgarian, but it will be later. So, the project, uh, let's just talk a, a little bit about the project. The project was about, well, unlocking your skills, which was a very interesting uh, topic for me. I think it was uh, quite interesting, and uh, I'm happy I went there. We were six countries in this project. We were, of course, Romania, the hosting organization, uh, Greece, Bulgaria, uh, Croatia, Latvia, and uh, Spain. So let me quickly say how I found about the project. So uh, I found, find, found out about this project thanks to a friend of mine. We applied uh, together. She found the project and then I went to, like, I found, I messaged the hosting organization and they told me who is the Bulgarian sending organization. So I then figured out, so they, then I went to the Bulgarian organization and then we talked uh, for like uh, about project and they said, okay, you're good to go. And then I went to the project. <laughs> so after like uh, I found about the project, let me quickly say uh, that this is not the easiest way to wait for a friend to tell you about the project or something. The best way to like find projects and uh, just to participate, if you want to participate in a Erasmus program, for me at least, for Bulgaria at least, I think the best way to find projects is to, to go to Facebook groups. There are like, I don't know, four, five, seven, uh, like a lot of Facebook groups that are sharing Erasmus projects that are just uh, offering, uh, you know, the, the opportunities. And so I think it's the best way is just to go and so to go into Facebook groups, I will link some of those groups in the description below if you want to check them out, of course. And uh, yeah, so let me talk about uh, the project now. So the project took place in December 2022. I'm recording this in January. So the, the project took place from uh, the 5th of December to the 16th of December. Th that is uh, 10 days. And we had like uh, two travel days. So for traveling. So the place... Uh, was of course in Romania in a town called uh, Vatra Dorne. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Feel free to say I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> so, of course, after the project, uh, uh, during the project, I mean, <laughs> the first thing is of course to reach your like the project destination. For us, this was. Uh, A town, we, we needed to arrive in a bigger town called uh, Cluj Napoca, and after that we needed to go to uh, Vatradorne. They were going to pick us up with a bus, which I think is quite cool because uh, it's uh, I'd say it's not nice to just be picked up <laughs> and do end and go to the project destination. So. The, on the first day, which was, I think, maybe or even on the fourth, or I'm, not, I'm not sure, <laughs> dates are of my mind are just, ooh. it was so long ago. <laughs> so, yeah, on the first day, we arrived at the uh, Klosh Napoca, and they picked us up with uh, the bus, and then we went to Vatardone, which was around a four-hour ride, and it was very cool, because, like, we, we arrived at midnight, because they picked us up at night. So, after that, we had like a, I don't know, quick, uh, when we reached the destination, of course, we like had a quick uh, dinner because well, all of us were hungry. <laughs> and then uh, after that, like we went to sleep and then the first day started. So like uh, in most Erasmus projects, the first day is just usually um, introductory. It's just basically, you know, it is hello, this is a Erasmus project, we will be doing this, this, this and this. 
you know. Uh, we're of course introducing ourselves. Uh, with the, we're saying our names, you know, sharing experiences. So this is basically the first day what we did. Of co and we of course are doing. Um, we did like all the other stuff, like uh, you know. We just laid out laid out uh, what the project we're, what we're going to do about the project. Uh, talked about the project, and did like a we did some activities like uh, we did a timetable, we did a weather condition, like and we talked like what we're going to do. And uh, we had the first cultural night, which was uh, which was uh, the Romanian night because usually the culture the first cultural night is the is from the hosting organization. I think that is like obvious because the hosting organization is to like lay down the f playing field you know to know what we're going to do it was a very nice cultural night we had like a homemade uh, alcohol which of course is a plus <laughs> and of course we had a, a lot of traditional romanian meals but well we had a lot of traditional meals in the hotel where we were staying and this is the point to mention that like that the hotel the meals like are all provided for us like we're having a uh, every day. We're having uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner. We're having accommodations, and these are these are covered by the Erasmus program, so we don't pay for them. And also for the traveling tickets, we have a budget. And if we don't over go our budget, we uh, even if we do, like we receive our budget uh, that we had. So for example, I think Bulgaria had like uh, two hundred seventy-five euros or something. I'm not sure. So I had 275 euros to work to buy tic to buy plane tickets, maybe bus tickets, train tickets, whatever. And with those tickets, I received the. You know. We received the. Full course. Now. Let's quickly. Let's quickly do. Saying that uh, after the project, they. They reimburse you the. The money and so. It's nice and easy. So basically, the only spending you have is like for personal stuff. Maybe if you want to do like a magnet or something, you know, stuff for your family. Uh, and of course, uh, if you're buying stuff for the cultural night, your cultural night, your country's cultural night, you also like you don't receive the money back because well, it's your cultural night. You know, it, it is supposed to bring stuff. So after the first cultural night, we say we started with the day day two activities. We like. Um, in day two, we already started to low work a little bit more, started going to the project. It, and uh, then it was, uh, of course, also on day two, it was the Bulgaria Cultural Night, which was, uh, of course, our country. <laughs> so in the Bulgaria Cultural Night, I think it went very amazing. In the Cultural Nights, uh, I forgot to mention, like we have like a presentation about the country. We're talking about the country you now, playing the traditional music for the country we did the bulgarian chauga or pop folk i think it's in english uh which was amazing we found out that a lot of our music is just stolen from other <laughs> countries and uh <laughs> good good times <laughs> in the bulgarian culture night we i remember we brought uh alcohol of course like in their project that there is no alcohol in our it, it was <laughs> it was cool so we had uh, we have brought like wine. I have brought homemade uh, Bulgarian rakia, made from me, and uh, of course also I I have also brought a um, what did you call it? It's a Bulgarian drink. It's uh, like a Bulgarian green drink called menta. It's a very delicious drink. I I believe it's uh, quite nice, quite uh, delicious. And uh, you mix it up with a uh, Sprite or Seven Up, and you receive a very nice, uh, like a cocktail. It's very delicious. I, I think everybody liked it. It was very good. So, in the after our cultural night, we also have brought like for the cultural night we have brought like different snacks from Bulgaria, which is like a must because we have like the best snacks. So after we had the, you know, we brought snacks nice stuff, which is, were all amazing and delicious. You should all try them. <laughs> uh, and basically that's it what we did in day two. Like I'm not really 
because I'm recording this in January, it's just that uh, I've already forgotten a little bit about what the things we're doing in the projects. So <laughs> yeah, if uh, it sounds still like this, well, <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's just what it is. Uh, now let's uh, let me continue now with day three, which was uh, we did like theater. In that way, the most like memorable thing is we had a theater. We like were given a topic, and we needed to do like a little theatric on the topic. It was very uh, fun to do. I, I think I was like a, I was an alien. Then we like took all the cell phones from Earth. It was very, it was a very cool concept, <laughs> and I enjoyed it a lot. So the idea of the product and the we like we're doing our theater too. And then we had the cultural night number three, which I'm sorry, but I don't remember which one it was it's for the viewers. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I have forgotten. <laughs> so in day, I don't know. Yeah, okay, time. My memory just doesn't work, but it's all good. <laughs> now. In day four, we had uh, we were complete. We were still talking. We, we were doing a lot of like uh, talking activities, which was interesting. We had we've done like a public cafe, which was uh, they give us a topic and we just go and talk or, or sit around on different tables and we talk about the topic on the table and then we switch tables. It's very interesting as a concept. I I believe it, it was very well done. And I enjoyed it very much. We also had, uh, I don't remember which when, but we had like two days when we went to the, we did like a trip in the city, which were very cool. We had the one, in one city we did, one one of days we had like a nice walk around the uh, Vater Dornay, where we explored like a church. A very nice um, no not church a monastery which was very beautiful and then we also went and did a lot of uh what do you call it uh, then we went to the city like after the monastery we did the, like a nice walk around the the park there which was very be beautiful it was very amazing i would say and uh, so the nature in Romania is very beautiful I would I must say like I recommend to everybody to that can to go and see it so we did like a, a nice mountain hike trip it was very it was very beautiful and we had like a pack, packed lunches which is which were just like uh, sandwiches which was cool it were good sandwiches and in that trip like it was it was very fun I remember like I was uh, wearing my boots, <laughs> like uh, my village boots that I usually wear in my village, which are very <gasps> like old. And after the whole journey or the whole day of the, I in the village, it was, uh <laughs> they were smelling a lot. <laughs> so something, uh, else to talk about it's uh so this is like i think day five or day six like my timestamps are just all over the world so if i'm wrong sorry <laughs> it's just that i don't really remember now i should mention that we had like uh we had like a whole schedule, like some st some things varied. So uh, it's like a usual to time time to varies different activities to change place, which was just normal. In day, I have no idea, day six. As I said, timestamps are just amazing. I should have uh, like written a journal or something, but I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically, in the later dates, 
in the later days. Uh, we, we continued uh, on the topic of unlocking skills, which I think was uh, very done w very nicely. And I think, and I think we had like um, it was done very nicely. I believe the whole project. So we're going to like fast forward a little bit <laughs> because well, reasons. So we did like a lot of stuff and uh, basically I remember like some days I remember quite nice for example the 13th of December which is my birthday we, we also went to like um, a whole day mountain walk climb whatever it was uh, a very lovely experience I, w I must say like we had uh, we climbed like this nice mountain peak it's very beautiful it was snow ice it it's very beautiful very lovely I really enjoyed that day well of course it, because it was my birthday also and also on the day 13 with it was the cultural night of Croatia which uh, was also very nice if uh, any of you are like football fans, you you know that on the 13th of December there was the football game of the in the World Cup where they were playing uh, Croatia against. Uh, uh, against Argentina. Ooh, I almost fucked it up. So so Croatia against Argentina, and of course we had Croatians, so it was very nice. We like uh, went and to watch the, the football game together. It was a uh, very it was a very amazing like uh, experience night i really enjoyed it and of course we you know celebrated the birthday oh i also remember like the day before my birthday the 12th of december we had the cultural night of greece and like i remember because like the cultural nights usually last until the after midnight i remember like uh, it bulgaria's cultural night like uh, they waited for midnight and I was like, okay, time to time to go out because I hate the part where like everybody sing you happy birthday and you're just like, thank you guys and just smiling awkwardly. <laughs> I don't like this part, so sorry, but they trapped me and I needed to endure them singing happy birthday to me like four or five times, which was, it was nice, but I don't want to do it again. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> And we had like a so yeah, as I said, my birthday was celebrated. Now let's continue with the other, you know, stuff that happened in the Erasmus program, which was we did like movie, we did like uh, movies and videos talking about you know pro program and stuff. They were also very interesting. And it, of course, we then reached, of course, the last day, which was the 15th of December. Well, as I said, the project was till the 16th, but uh, the 16th was just the, the departure day. So basically, the last day was the 10th of December. Uh, I mean, the 15th of December, which was, you know, the last day. And we had like the farewell parties, which was very lovely, I would say. You know, just uh, saying goodbyes, you know, thing. which, well, honestly, we didn't like. Because they took us, um, so on the last day, you know, we did the farewell and all, and, all, and then in l around midnight, we took the bus back to Cluj Napoca. So basically, we arrived at uh, Cluj Napoca at around 4 5 a.m. in the airport. I was traveling back by a train, by the way. So I know that I was actually, I actually stayed one extra day. I stayed in Cluj Napoca. I stayed with like uh, the Spanish team and my friend. It was very, you know, interesting to spend a day in Cluj. Like I should mention that they did not, the organization does not cover like us staying in other places. Like for example, for our like uh, place where we stayed, we paid ourselves. So this is a thing to mention, but we did not pay for the place where we were staying when the project was done. So, you know, we, we stayed, we explored Clush. It was an amazing, 
it was a very nice experience and i should mention that uh you know after in the project i was the team leader if you don't know what the team leader a team leader is it's basically it's basically another participant which a little bit more of responsibilities for example like uh, if uh for example if they're like uh, i don't know if uh, some of your countries uh, you know participants are like late or something you need to go and get them <laughs> and stuff like that so i was like uh, because a lot of people like stayed late to party and then they in the morning they were you know sleeping late and they were missing so i usually just uh, bashed in their rooms and all that i was like come on people we need we're late and <laughs> just aggressively entering the rooms <laughs> it was a very good time so basically this is this is kind of the story so let me talk to you about uh, my going home which was of course very nice so going home was uh an experience uh, to say because as i said i stayed one day in uh, one extra day in Cluj, which means that i had you know staying one extra day means that i needed to well let's just say i went i had a plane on the last day which was the 16th of december that went that goes back to bulgaria but I decided to stay one day because uh, as I said I applied with a friend together so I decided to stay with her one day in Cluj and on the next day I did not have a plane so I needed to find a different way to go home and I decided to go by train and let me just say that a nine hour ride by train for you know a nine hour ride by train it's not fun <laughs> it's not even it's not even close to fun <laughs> it's just uh well if you take like a uh, the night train which you have you can sleep in it it's okay but i took like during the day so nine hour day ride it was not uh, the best experience but well it was uh, how to say i wanted to go throughout the day because i wanted to like you know to, to look at the whole the romania because close is like in the north and the train went from no, from Cluj to Bucharest, so I w I went to like uh, literally past the whole Romania, which is a a fantastic experience, to say the least. It was very lovely, and I remember. So the nine hour ride it was quite long, <laughs> you know, but I had my phone, I had games on it, so. I passed the time after I got bored of looking throughout the window to see what I can, you know, spot. <laughs> and so, then I arrived at Bucharest, and then after, and then in four hours I had uh, what the what did I have? Oh yeah, I had like a I had a a bus Ooh. yeah my english is just <laughs> dying now <laughs> uh so i had a bus that i needed to take and uh so i i, I went to the bus station which was lovely and then like the bus arrived it was around i don't know 11 at night or something it's it was late to say and uh we started going you know and uh i remember like we arrived at and it was like the whole night so we arrived at around i have no idea when <laughs> so uh yeah yeah um so we arrived around uh we arrived in sofia around where the hell did it I have no idea when we did we arrive. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we arrived, arrived around uh, around five a.m. <laughs> because you know during the night time 
you know it's traveling is faster it's easier so yeah we arrived quite early i was supposed to be arriving around i don't know six around seven but well <laughs> we were early <laughs> to say the least <laughs> and uh it was good that there were like buses in Sofia, so I just took a bus and went back home. Then I remember like I went, I arrived at my house around, I don't know, 5.30 or something like it. And I just literally just went to sleep instantly. And then I slept around until like 12 or something. Just so much just sleeping. And I needed it. Like I needed that sleep because... To say the least, the amount of sleep that you get in projects, like it depends on you mo <laughs> mostly. But for me, like it's like every night I was partying, you know, drinking and stuff. So it was very like every night I was staying late, which basically is what you're doing. <laughs> just staying late, partying, you know, talking with people, ha just having a good time. So. Not, not not really much time for sleep <laughs> so i just took a very nice night sleep and uh you know after the project i just literally just uh i slept crazy hours like the the first time i slept like for 12 hours straight then i slept even more at night like i slept a lot plus i was a little bit sick i was getting sick so I need I needed the rest. I remember. Now now because while I was talking in my mind things were remember were coming back to my head. So now we will be talking about stuff that I currently remember before I, when I did not remember. So let's first talk about one of the co fun cultural night which was the Spanish cultural night. So the Spanish cultural night they it was very lovely and there was a lot of sangria which is the Spanish, which is a lovely Spanish drink. So I drank a lot of sangria. <laughs> like I got a little bit drunk, so kids don't do that. Yeah, I got quite drunk. Well, for my standards drunk, I would, I should say, because for me, like I, I don't want to sound like this, but I, re I get drunk very easily. This is like one of my problems i would say like from may maybe two three cups of like sangria and i'm just and i'm knocked down i'm like already i'm good uh so you know we had like uh so after the drinking so yeah in the spanish night we and we we also like played kahoot which is you know a very fun you know at like a, we had like trivias it was very fun We were enjoying ourselves very much, I need to say. And it just, uh, it was a very lovely night. We had like dances, we did traditional Spanish dances. We, we watched them do traditional Spanish dances. It was just lovely. I also remember like, uh, I should mention that in every culture night we did like a traditional dances from that country. For the Bulgarian night, I don't think we did actually did it because we were like, we did not know any traditional Bulgarian dances. <laughs> I know. Uh, this sounds so bad. <laughs> but it's just what it is. You know. And. Uh, I remember we had like. Uh, I don't know. We had like a. What the hell did we have? So, oh yeah, one more activity that we did. Like, I remember, like, some activities that were more, like, you know, interesting for me, I would say. Uh, because, well, how to say? To be perfectly honest, like, when you go to projects, not everything you do will be, like, whoa, amazing. At least for me. Like, there are, like, some activities that I don't feel like doing or they are not very interesting. But this one was very interesting. We had to build, like, um, towers from spaghetti. <laughs> it was... And uh, whoever built the highest tower wins. Like we were, we were like uh, splitting teams for that. And I remember like uh, every team had one row that was like uh, 
to just uh, always be like come on we don't have time come on we don't have time we to, to do it faster and that was me so i was just uh, <laughs> every time i was just like come on people come on come on during the whole time like i don't remember if i did a lot of stuff but i remember that i was just like come on 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 faster 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 all the time but we won't because of my nagging <laughs> to say <laughs> very it was very <laughs> good time we liked it a lot of activities that I did not mention because I just uh, currently am forgetting them as I'm speaking. But we had a lot of activities and everything was just amazing. Oh yeah, I should mention, oh, the I was going to forget the best thing that we did. Well, not the best, but one of the best. We did like, uh, because the place we were staying, it had, uh, you know, it had a sauna. Yeah. And we had like a, like a spa, we, we had where it was a pool, you know, a sauna. Uh, jacuzzi <laughs> and we had like we had one night where we did that it was just amazing like I remember like just we did the, this thing uh, where we sit in the sauna for I don't know 10 minutes and then we just go outside and roll in the grass it was very interesting like I did it <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot <laughs> it was so fun to do I would I would recommend to everybody to try it. It's very fun, but you know when you get up, it's just like uh, steam coming out from you. It it's amazing. <laughs> like the experiences, the experiences you do in uh, Erasmus projects. It's uh, like every project, you know, it's different because usually the people that you go to it are different. Every project is uh, amazing, I would say. And from the four pro four project I, that I went to this this project, uh, well, I would have to give it like I went to four projects, and unfortunately, this project needs to go to place three. Like, uh, like if I let's say if, if I place it at third, it sounds bad, but it's like uh, from one to ten, it's like seven. You know, it's a it was a very ni nice project. I just uh, the other <laughs> the other two that are on the top were a little bit better for at least my experience. But I I believe that. The project was amazing and I loved uh, the people and I love the people that uh, I met we still like uh, keep in touch you know it's a it's an amazing experience and you know every time we like I think of them <laughs> it just uh, we had so much fun and good times and I think that uh, this is what we're asking so about for good times to go meet people explore different uh, different cultures learn about their like um, learn about their you know their oh, <laughs> I forgot the word <laughs> learn about you know their culture their country their like traditions and it's just very it's very lovely time and I would recommend to like everybody to try at least once that's why as I said I will link in the description below I will link uh, some Facebook groups for Bulgarians at least that uh, can, you know, some Facebook groups for Bulgarians that can, you know, in the groups you can find projects and you can apply for them. I should say that it's not guaranteed that when you apply for a project you get accepted, but it is, well, it's not guaranteed, but when you apply to it, to, to a few, at least one of them, you will get accepted, you know. So I would so it's like a final thoughts i would recommend to go to projects explore because this is like the, a very good way to like explore different countries and uh, meet people so go to projects explore make friends have fun of course and i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye